Hey guys, I'm Michelle. Welcome to your Matt Pilates workout. We're gonna be in and out in under 30 minutes. Each move is 50 seconds with a 15 second transition. This workout is focusing on your powerhouse, which is the midsection. So it's the core, the back, and the glutes. When we have a strong foundation, it's gonna help you in your other workouts. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. All right, you guys, we're gonna get warmed up and group right into this workout. We're gonna be at the back of the mat. We're gonna be walking it out and doing a push-up and then walk it back. So just one push-up, roll the shoulders back, nice and tall. You're bending the knees, walking out. One push up and then bend the knees, walk back. Take your time. Remember, we're warming it up. Walk it out. Keep the knees bent. Knees or toes in that push up. Enjoy that squat. We have 50 seconds of each movement with a 15 second transition. If you want to do a reach at the top, walk out, push up. When you come back up, do a stretch up to the sky. Keeping the core braced as you do that movement of walking out, stay down and come to the knees. Push back into child pose. Push forward into cobra. And then push back. We're gonna come up to plank. Hold that plank. We're gonna alternate those leg lifts. As you lift the leg, squeeze in the glute. You can always drop it to the knees. If you need to be on the forearms, you can. Look out in front. Eyes are a little lifted out there. One more, now we're gonna crouch back. Bend the knees, bring those butts to the heels, and then push back forward. Great way to warm up the shoulders. I like to inhale as I push back. Exhale, push forward. Swing the legs out in front. And we're gonna come onto the elbows. You guys can face whichever direction you want to. So if you don't know what you're doing, you might wanna see me, right? On the elbows. Legs are up, bend the knees and kick. Drop, kick. Now, press into the shoulders and the elbows and lift the chest. And then pull the abs up and in. If you want a little bit more, hands onto the sides, a little bit harder. Open up the chest. If you really feel like you got great balance, take the hands off the floor. Hold it up. Open and close legs. Open, cross. I like to be on my elbows. Now reach your legs long. Point your toes. Exhale as you cross. Open up the chest. A little bit more effort in the legs. And then draw the abs up and in even more. All the way down, we have the hundred. Relax the arms by your side, tuck the tailbone, low back in the mat, legs are up at tabletop, knees over the hips. Extend the legs for more intention here. Lift the head and shoulders, start to pump the arms. In the hundred, look up to the thighs, and then lift the shoulder blades off the mat. Tuck in nice and tight here. Heels in, toes out if you're in that position. You can always have bent knees. You can always have one hand behind the head. Pumping vigorously, slapping water, right? One more time. You're gonna take those knees, tuck them in, and reach away. Tuck in, and reach. If you need to drop the head to the ground, if you're getting tension in the neck, Legs go down. 
I'm gonna use my right leg, have a little turn out. Left leg is long or bent. Arms kind of reach a little bit out to the side. We're gonna do circles. Brace the core, connect it to the mat. Circle in, down, and around. With a long, strong leg. So you want to press into the mat, use the core as you circle this leg around. Nothing else is moving, right? Switch that direction. Take it out, down, in, and lift up. The other leg can flex as this leg points. Have some effort there. Back of the head is on the mat, so we were just talking about ponytails. Make sure your ponytail is either low or high. Straight leg, grab it, stretch it out. Lift the head and shoulders. Get there, you got that. Switching legs, so anchor the other leg, lengthen the other foot, take it in, out, and around. Ooh, for a moment there, I thought Diane's foot was gonna get me in the face. This is awfully close. <laughs> Anybody else got a foot swinging in their face? <laughs> Woo, Carol's got long legs. <laughs> We're good to go though, nobody got hurt. Reverse the hand circle. So think, think about length as you go through the movement. It's not about how big I can make it, it's about how controlled and how long I can make my leg. Minimize the movement in the rest of the body. And give it a good stretch. Reach up to that leg. Oh. We're gonna come into forearm plank, so when you're ready to, swing it around. Woo. Hips go up, give me a dolphin, and then drop the hips, bring the right heel to the butt, and the left heel to the butt. And then again, pushing up, use the core, come on down, and heels to the butt. Exhale, hips up. Really pike those hips up to the ceiling. And dropping the head between those arms. Squeeze the heel to the butt, use that hamstring. Hold that dolphin for me. So walk the feet in a little bit, push the hips up high. Flip it around, feet on the floor, bridge. Hips come up and then release. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to reach the arms up to the sky. Press into the heels. Now, if you want some more hamstrings, Walk the feet out a little bit. So it depends on your body. I like my feet out a little bit so that my toes are lifted. Curl up, curl down. Think of the spine as a string of pearls. Roll it up, roll it down. Can you get each part of that spine to touch the mat and then release and lift? Two more. And then we're gonna hold the top, hold here. Little presses go up. Stay with this, stay with this. I know the timer went off. Hold it up, now pick a leg. One leg is up, let's pulse. Arms can be up or arms can be down. It's definitely gonna be harder with the arms up, so if you feel a little unstable, place the arms down. If you wanna try a little bit more aggressiveness, lower the leg knee to knee. How would you feel that? Switch legs. And 
again, take that option of where you want the leg. Mindful in the waist here, that's that powerhouse, that midsection, the front, the back, the sides. Hug the knees in. You're gonna flip it onto all four. All right, my front knee is gonna come to the elbow, tap back. My back leg is gonna go to a single dog. So it goes elbow, tap, lift. Knee down, elbow, tap, lift. Now you know the movement. Add a little more crunch when that knee comes to the elbow. And again, no rushing, no worrying about going to the beat of that music. Get that range. Exhale when you pull the knee in. Hold single dog for me. Can you hold that leg up for a moment? Press the other heel down, open up into like you're doing the splits. Knees down. Relax, ready for the other side. Elbow two, knee to elbow, tap back. Single dog. Oh, I feel the rhythm on this one, right? Elbow, tap, lift. Great job. Lots of great things here to hold your body nice and strong and tight. your single dog wherever you are and then find a side or let's come on to that side Ooh. let's extend out straight let's do a double leg lift here work on the obliques so straight line both legs lift up lift and release go at a great pace that's for you so again we want length as we lift you feel like you're on a balanced beam. You're in a nice straight line. Hold it up here. Nice and hold. Maybe take the arm a little out in front. Take the hand behind the head. Look up a little bit. Take the legs out a little bit in front. And then maybe lift here and hold. A little bit of a jackknife. Right, so we can have the legs squeezing. We're just doing an isometric hold. Brace and pull in here. Bend the knees, twist open. Getting ready for kicks. Legs out about a 45 degree angle. Hand behind the head or in front of you. We're gonna kick, bend, extend. All right, so kick, bend, extend, another option. I could be on the elbow. I'd like to be down here. Kick, bend, extend. So again, length. There's almost a little bit of a crunch right there as you bring that knee in towards the chest. And we do have shoes on reverse this. It's a little chilly out here today. Huh. Catherine's like, do you have a blanket? still have your jacket on, Catherine? She still does. Whew. We're getting warm now. When you see the clothes come off. Try to get heel to heel. Great job. Swing it around. And we got the other side. So we're going to start with that double leg lift. And then move into those kicks. Great way to work the obliques without cranking on that neck. Straight line. Lift and release. 
shoulders relaxed, brace the core. Think about your technique, think about your posture. We're gonna hold it up, take the bottom arm, reach it out, legs can come a little forward and then lift up. So holding, leaning a little bit into your back butt cheek here. It's like if that was your pocket, you're leaning into it, but huh, pull up and in. Legs are gluing together. Great job. Give it a little twist here. And then we're getting ready for those kicks. All right, set yourself up. If you want to have hand on head, legs a little bit forward, heels together. We kick up, bend, slide. Try to match your heels together. That's going to tell me that you're not opening the hips or closing them too much, that you're really stacked. So that would be where it's good to be barefoot. Switch that, bring it up, kick it, squeeze it down. Think about the bottom shoulder. Do not sink in your in your shoulders. You want to lift away from that shoulder. And relax. Come on to your back. We're gonna go into a little bit of a dead bug. Knees are at tabletop. Arms are reaching. Low back is in the mat. Think opposite. So as my back leg reaches, my front arm is going to go back. And then I switch. You can take as much time as you want in that reach. But when you come back, it's that... Body wants to cheat. Don't let the knee come into the chest. Keep that knee. Right, you can even put one hand on that knee. Don't let it come in. Switch. You can put a little pressure on that leg. Side forearm plank, pick a side. I'm gonna come onto this elbow. Side plank, we're gonna do that twisting through. Take the arm thread it through, and then dropping that hip. Knee can be up or down, so we thread through. Pause, drop the hip. As you thread through, the, lift, the hips are gonna lift up. So lifting up, twisting, exhaling, Feel like you want to get more twist try to do a little twist twist if that helps you out this is so great for that underside oblique take the option of the knee if you need to Job. Swing it around, roll the shoulders back, keep the core braced, stack. You want to start with that lift, feel like you have that wall in front of you and the wall behind you, thread through, and then release and lift. Pay attention to your hips, are they lifting as you twist? Your shoulders should turn a little bit. Too. Everybody just goes at the pace that's for them today. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we are coming into a reverse table. So I'm gonna show a modified option first. Bent knees, hands under shoulders. This is reverse table with the knees bent. Otherwise we have the legs straight. Fingers can face or they can face the toes or face out. Just pause for a moment here. Now where your eye gaze is is important too. So drop your chin now, look towards your toes. Squeeze the back side. So even if I'm here, I'm pushing those hips up, pressing firmly through the arms. Woo! Be ready to add some movement, my friends. Yes or no, kick one leg up, down, switch. Make sure that foot is grounded before you take it off the floor, right? Do what you can. If you need a stretch, you take it. We're almost there. And release, round forward, great job. We're gonna come up to standing. Woo! Come on up. We have heels together, toes turn out, arms reach out, swing front, then back. Swing it in front and back. Hey, if you need a chair or you need your arm someplace else, go there. So that standing leg is a little turned out. I'm tapping the foot to the front and then to the back. Arms if you want to, they can move. Strong and straight. All right, take that leg up, knee to knee, and just hold, open the chest. Push your leg a little bit back here, so just an isometric hold. And really switch the legs, first position, roll it back, other leg is gonna go front, swing back. If you wanna add arms. Inhale, exhale. And then grow a little taller. Pilates is a foundation, right? We work on all these fine tuning muscles that can help us have a better movement quality in our other workouts. All right, stay lifted, up and in. Is that waist? Find that balance, bring that knee back a little bit here. Just hold, open the chest. Relax, that leg comes to the front of your mat. We're gonna lunge, connect. So step back, connect, go on long ladies. Lunge, and then from there, half moon, lunge. Connect, lunge, half moon. So take your time. If you want longer in your half moon, stay there a little longer. The connector too, you can stay low and then lift off. So just try what works for you today. Maybe you need to be up. I might want to be up a little bit. It gets to be warmer. Hold your half moon. I know we are all over the place, right? But just you find what needs to be there. Lighter in the hand, longer in the leg and arm. Step to the front, shake it out. Other leg, are we ready? Lunge, connect. Lunge, half moon. Oh, that feels good on my body. How about yours? It could be a three point. Jennifer's keeping both hands on the floor. That could be a three point. That works too. Sometimes we need that. Especially the driveway is, we're in a different spot today. Do you notice that in the driveway? 
Are you curious? Stay to the end, we'll tell you why. Yeah, it is a little slopey today, isn't it? 10 seconds, open it up. Holding half moon, come into that half moon. On your back, look to the ceiling. We're going into a lot of core here. Straight legs, actually bent knees. Hug the right knee to the chest and the left knee to the chest. Single leg stretch. Take the outside hand to the outside of that ankle. Inside hand to the knee. Head can be up, head can be down. Use your breath, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Hands behind the head, same movement. Twist a little bit more. Find the rhythm. Ooh, sorry about that. Hug the knees in. Arms by your side. We're gonna be lifting those hips up and then pushing the legs out into frog. Brace the core. Knees come towards the shoulders and then push it out. Control the rolling of the hips. As your legs press out, heels in, toes turn out, squeeze your thighs. If you need to, hands under the hips. Hold it out, hold it out. A little hollow hold. Whew. Relax. Straight leg scissors. Grab one leg, other leg is down. We switch. Head can be up, head can be down. You can have a hand behind the head if you need to. You can do the same thing. Ways to make it a little bit more challenging. Grab a little higher up the leg. When we do this movement, it's not about lifting the shoulders off the mat. It's about staying where you are. You're gonna stretch with the strength and the length here. Longer legs, higher reach. Press your back into the mat. Great job, knees in. Take a deep breath here. You did amazing today. It was short and sweet, but a great way to give back to your body. Hug the knees into the chest. Remember, every workout does not have to be a sweat sesh. Unless you're sweating at home, because we were outside, it was a little chilly. Hug the right knee in, drop it across the body. Tee the arm out. Touch you, Diane. Bring it in, let's do the other side. Hug the knee in, drop it across the body. Great for your digestive system. If there's one thing that you could do that would be great for your body is to slow things down. So when you're having your lunch, don't be on your phone, don't watch TV, just enjoy your meal, you're gonna get more out of it. All right, hug both knees in, we're gonna be coming up to standing, rock it up. Great job to have everybody here, I appreciate my crew coming, I appreciate you coming out for this workout and hit and play. 
Oh, you can shake your hips. Maybe that would feel good. You need to shake your hips a little bit. Yeah, we need to shake them. This part of your body, that's what Pilates works on, is what we call the powerhouse. So how can you engage it more? Put on some music, dance around in your house, be connected to it, and eat food when you're mindful, not when you're distracted. Circle around, circle. Four more in this direction. Reverse that circle. Inhale, reach it up. Prayer down. Behind the chest, open that arms out. T, one more time, have the gratitude. Grateful to you, grateful to those ladies behind me. And I'm grateful to my body for being able to do what it can do. You guys have an awesome day. Whew, thank you so much for joining us. Do make sure you thumb it up, you comment below, and make sure you are subscribed. It's free. It does help this channel. Take care, guys. We'll see you back on that mat. Bye-bye. Thank you, ladies. You did amazing today, coming out in the chilly weather. Sorry I didn't have a blanket, Catherine. Great job. Whew.